bike in. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Hello YouTube. Friendly reminder, if you haven't filled up the tires on your motorcycle lately, you should probably check them. You're welcome. We'll hit you back when we're on the road. We we'll have to talk about why we ride the motorcycles re ride. Currently. Like why 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 I have yeah, red pony. <laughs> on this video where y'all can see what I have been riding before. So I traded it in to at Roanoke Harley Davidson for um, a 2015 Street Bob that was all T-barred out, West Coast style. And I fell in love with it and I thought I don't need all the amenities of a touring bike because I do a lot of around town riding. I'll just throw some soft bags on that. It'd be good enough for Dakota and we'd be good to go. Well, I was wrong. Uh, that thing beat me up on down the road. And uh, and once you have like one bad ride where you try, I was only trying to go, it was to Radford, about an hour and 20 minutes away to uh, Bike Fest two years ago. Uh, once you go on one bad ride and like you realize that you're gonna be in pain when you try to go on long rides, I couldn't get it out of my mind. My, uh, my pinky started going numb. Uh, I had pain shooting up my arm from like the, the bar's position. I couldn't stand it. And uh, ended up trading it on a 2015 Softail Heritage. Uh, it had the 103 as well. When I built it out to a Cholo style, the only thing it was missing really was a 21 inch front wheel. And, uh, and I did another uh, long ride. We went to Charlottesville, about two hours one way, went through Lynchburg and whatnot. 
Well, I didn't like the riding position of it after I did everything to it, but I didn't like the look of a stock heritage. I bought it knowing I was going to build it into what it was. And uh, then I go on a long ride and I didn't like that either. So I was like really regretting getting rid of my 08 Street Glide. And uh, did you see that Santa's back there? I know. <laughs> Uh, I really regretted not having my street glide and, and of course I'm watching YouTube now and I'm seeing how many people were laying down miles on touring bikes and I've always loved uh, the road glide ever since the Rushmore project so I was able to find this one at a good deal this one's a 2017 uh, road glide ultra uh, I, I bought it the way it sits so it had aftermarket bars heated grips uh, Vance and Hines full exhaust. It, it was tuned. Has an SNS breather. Uh, it's got the rear, uh, extra rear lights on the back. It has a wind vest, front windshield. So I, I, I got a hell of a deal on it, and I don't think I'll ever. Uh, I don't think I'll ever go back. So knowing that I wanted to do YouTube, it, uh, it to have all the space and everything to have the little outlet in the trunk I can charge up my GoPro batteries it's uh, it's pretty great I don't have to like worry about anything um, I'm comfortable when I'm riding which makes me want to ride more uh, were you gonna take a drink yeah whoopsie a little, drink, drink. A little drinky drink so Simon where are we heading myself a pretty good rider um, and, and so like we don't really do anything crazy so I don't I, can, I know I can be up next to you and you're not gonna you know forget that I'm there yeah you better yeah that's not crazy dude unless I'm in front of you want to kick me like <laughs> oh man this is gonna be a gorgeous ride I love coming through this area Hey, uh, fun fact, I had two reckless driving speeding tickets in Botetot, and I uh, got thrown in jail up here. Yeah, dude. I got put in a holding cell. So, I can tell people, I ain't never going back. And, uh, that's true. So, look, man. Well, I guess you're the, you're the baddest bike driver. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just a poser. I got put in jail for, for a speeding ticket. It was my second reckless driving. The first one I was able to get off of, and, uh, and they were, ended up giving me, uh, they reduced it to speeding, obviously. And then I had to stay scotch-free for six months. And the, the week I was, like, that was it. That was like, if I stayed scotch-free for, the rest of this week and go to the go to court and they say oh hey yeah you're good uh, the week that happened I got pulled over it, in Salem not for reckless driving I got pulled over for something else and I was let off with a warning because it was a construction zone and the speed limit reduced from what it used to be so I was able to to get off with a warning on that one go back to court yeah. the next week I was good to go and uh, 
I was coming back from Lynchburg. I was dating Dakota. She was going to uh, Liberty University. And I was coming back, and it was like 12 at night, and I was rushing home. I had to wake up at like 3 to go to work the next morning. And on the way back, I got a ticket for reckless driving. I got a attorney and everything. I had multiple court cases, and on the last one, they said I was going to stay in jail for the weekend. I was supposed to do a week, and I was going to be able to get out for uh, work, or like a work release every day. So I had a week's worth of clothes in my vehicle. They ended up putting me in the back. Like, I had to, like, strip down and everything, like, straight up. Like, I was, I was going to jail, you know. And my, while I was in there for like two hours, uh, my lawyer, my attorney, was doing some major work and uh, was in, ended up able to get me out. And then they reduced it and everything. And that's like four years ago. I haven't had a, uh, I'm not going to say it. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Yeah, man, I've been A+. plus. It was a good thing they let me out. Dakota was waiting on me. She had come from Liberty University and was waiting on me. It was a good thing I got out. She didn't know you were in jail. Yeah, she didn't know. She knew what, like, I was supposed to be going to jail. And uh, she was, she had come in hopes that I was able to get off. So I was pretty lucky. Otherwise, I'd have been in there for ten days. Was the was the thing? It was supposed to be ten days in jail. Fun stuff, man. But I'm hardened now. This year has been my lucky year. Oh yeah. Uh, 2017 was uh, 2019 has been great. Well, you skipped a year. Well, this was a cool little stop. Some train tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get back on the road. Uh, yeah. A little longer there's stop than I thought it would be. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm struggle busting it over here. Come on, old man. I hate these damn big gloves. I'm gonna have to... Oh, let's go. Don't stop. Okay. Well, while we go through some twisties here, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, it's starting to get dark. But if you're enjoying some content like this, moto vlogging and talking, we'll do some cool stuff here in the future uh, with the bike fills and product reviews and whatnot. Uh, but make sure to go down there, hit the hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, you get notified when I upload videos. So if you're enjoying it, let me know down in the comments.